Whiz Kid here with the latest on the Devil's Canyon PC build that I have. I'm going to be reviewing some of the components, specifically the motherboard from MSI, the Z97M gaming board. It's a Micro ATX board, fits nicely in this BitPhoenix Pandora case. And uh, this board here, of course, supports the fourth, fifth generation Intel Core processors. Hopefully the new future ones as well. Comes with the Audio Boost 2 killer uh, network, the 2200 there, as you can see. Support for two-way SLI crossfire, of course, and um, I'm really looking for some great performance out of this machine. Even though I'm only going to be installing one card, one graphics GPU card, I'm going to have the Plex Store PCI Express SSD card in there and also the Patriot Blaze SSD. And uh, that's all part of the, the master plan on getting this little beastie system that uh, I built here running smoothly. In the case... Uh, of the MSI board, you're going to get the manual, of course, you're going to get the uh, instructions and the driver CD. I'm running Windows 8.1, so it's going to run really fast. And here on this board, let's get a nice look at that chip. You can see there the MSI logo under that is the Z97, the chipset. Heat, well, heat is going to dissipate very nicely through those cool looking uh, heat sinks. You've got high quality capacitors, you got Two PCI Express slots, which I'll be occupying. The Audio Boost chip is right there, as you can see. Um, I'll be installing two modules of memory in there for 16 gigs total. If you're an enthusiast, you want to do some overclocking, you've got the Overclock Genie, the Reset, the Power. You also have a Debug LED uh, right to the side there, so you can also check for the codes or even just check your temperature through those as well. So that's very nice to have. I do like how the uh, rear panel is laid out so you can get to everything very easily color coordinated very nice so no issues there for me of course uh, lots of USB 3.0 uh, as you can see there in blue okay e SATA you've got your audio jacks and um, that's pretty much it looking at the processor the latest generation here of the Intel Core i5-4690K, which is a Devil's Canyon CPU, comes at 3.5 gigahertz on the uh, default core clock, but I overclocked it to 4.5 gigahertz because these CPUs are really meant for overclocking. I mean, it's running so smooth and sweet and stable, I tell you. Uh, there's no need to get a, a Intel Core i7. Six megs of, uh, uh, of the level 3 cache, good enough. And I'm good to go running at 4.5 gigahertz on this machine. And I'm going to show you those benchmarks. You're going to be really, really pleased to see the results on this one. But um, the main thing is that this MSI board is, you know, future-proof, hopefully for the next generation of 1150 socket CPUs that are coming out. So that way we can upgrade this even further. Now, to pair all of this up, we've got some really high-end memory. The Kingston HyperX Savage. I, mo I would like to call this a saber tooth type of uh, or a saw type of um, uh, memory because of the way it's designed. Even though it's low profile and, and slim in design, it, it kind of has that razor sharp edge at the top, kind of looks like it's going to cut through something, you know, really sharp, but it's not, obviously. Uh, but really sweet, cool looking memory complements the MSI board and the internals of this machine that I built. So 2133 megahertz on this one, of course. Uh, DDR3 memory, CL11 timings. You can see the width there, very slim. So if you uh, uh, you know are worried about the height, also you know this isn't going to get in the way of any CPU cooler. Now here we are in Windows 8.1. I've overclocked it to 4.5 gigahertz. How? Well, all I had to do is increase the multiplier to 45 in the MSI. Uh, motherboard bias settings and that's pretty much it the voltage the core voltage was increased to 1.175 actually and then I just let it fluctuate and automated uh, left everything on auto so it's good to go run the stability test you know kind of burnt it in to make sure that it didn't hang freeze get any lockups everything is running smooth and stable here are the memory again uh, settings that I'm running for the Kingston Savage memory as you can see they're very very fast in my next video we're going to be doing all the benchmarks to putting this all together so you can see the proof is in the pudding on how smooth and stable you can build a machine like this without necessarily spending uh, too much money right of course you can change the components I got a GTX 780 uh, Nvidia GeForce card in here running at the uh, default clocks but you can install other types of cards it doesn't have to be that one of course and um, well, the system looks very nice, very sweet with the color coordination, neon lighting, 
and uh, the uh, PCI uh, SSD and the Patriot Blaze SSD that I have set up. So I've got uh, the Blaze Patriot SSD is being used for all the games, all the apps, everything is running on that one. And on the PCI Express SSD, um, I have the OS. Okay, that's the way I've set this up to run. So check out my next video on the benchmarks and I'll add the link just in a moment. I'd like to thank, of course, all of the different product providers here that have added to making this system happen. Here is the link to watch the benchmark. So click on this image right now and we'll continue on the review and benchmarks of this little machine, which I've nicknamed Beastie. Thank you for watching.